few days ago I got the pick line removed which is the IV line uh, that uh, I was getting my antibiotics uh, through the um, I, so I was pretty darn excited uh, to uh, give a try give a give a work out exercise a try that used both of my arms because my my left arm has been doing quite a bit of the exercising and my right arm has been doing no exercising whatsoever because I wanted to I didn't want to compromise the that pick line that that threw I get my IV in and I didn't want to pull it out by accident or which would be painful or or maybe uh, do something screw it up somehow and you know I didn't have any infections on it so that was pretty cool uh, I have a couple sponges um, that uh, a YouTube friend got for me and uh, I don't know if um, if I have done this before but I if I done this uh, video of this before but it, it's got a little bit of me putting loading up the weights on my uh, on my easy curl bar uh, I don't it doesn't matter if you use the easy curl bar if you use just a regular weightlifting bar um, you know that you do uh, uh, bench presses with it doesn't matter either one of those but it but the the easy curl bar was just a little bit closer and a little it's a little bit smaller too actually than uh, than the regular uh, bench press bar that you see over at the gym uh, I put my my uh, my the sponges underneath my hands so that um, whenever I'm doing these uh, doing these skull crushers then I'm not going to cause any numbness in my hands because I'm grabbing a hold onto the uh, if I because if I'm I might be grabbing hold uh, strongly or hard onto the bar. Um, but if I use the sponges, then it, it, it helps out quite a bit. You see, I'm doing those holds in between my uh, in between my reps, in between going up and, and coming down, and uh, those holds really seem to hit the triceps quite a bit, the triceps muscles quite a bit, and and so that's why I do those holds. But it's always um, I always like to do the holds right near the end, right at the uh, during the last. Uh, set or the uh, in the final repetitions, and that way I still get a pretty decent workout, and uh, you know of my triceps muscles. Um, it's also start. It's also pretty warm, so even though we have the air conditioner on, and I I like to have the fan on. Um, it was kind of chilly maybe at first, but uh, really it's uh, you know once you get the, once you get the blood pumping and the heart racing and all that sort of business then it uh, it heats you up pretty heats up your heats up your body pretty good and so um, you know that's why I had the fan on me uh, this was kind of cool because I I figured that I could put the sponges um, double up the sponges and put them underneath the fan and that way the fan wouldn't roll over on its back and, and uh, you know be pointing nowhere so the fan was still on me and I was still a little bit warm, so it was good. It was a good thing that was going on. Uh, I like to have my legs straight out in front of me. Um, of course, uh, I like to have them straight, not not bent at all. Whenever I'm doing exercises, because that way the blood can flow more freely below my spinal cord injury, and uh, I think that's a pretty good thing. Um, here I am putting the bar putting the easy curl bar underneath the bed uh, I put most of my weights underneath the, underneath our bed and the and the uh, you know on the dumbbells and, and the uh, all the exercises